Hello and welcome to Pizza 360. I'm Daniel Lee Perea. Joining us today via Skype is our special guest, Mr. Greg Rapp, the menu engineer. Rapp is with Menu Technologies in Palm Springs, California. For almost 28 years, he's been turning ordinary restaurant menus into powerful money-making sales tools for the likes of Wolfgang Puck Restaurants, Subway, Chili's, and Taco Bell, to name a few. Thanks for joining us today, Greg. Thanks so much. I've uh, been watching... Uh, your magazine grow. It's just been doing some great things, and I recommend it. People not only in the pizza business, but in others, sneak in and get subscriptions because you guys have some really great ideas brewing through there. First of all, tell us what do you mean by menu engineering? So, m menu engineering is all about figuring out the placement of items on the menu, and not only that, but figuring what is the um, profitability and popularity of the items, and then you can figure out where they should go. So just like a grocery store shelf is laid out for profitability, you should be laying your menus out along the same lines. You know, the, when you walk into a grocery store, they've, they've got everything pretty well figured out. They know where you're going to go, what, what path you're going to take, where your eye looks, where your kid's eye looks. It's all strategically laid out, and we do the same thing on the menu. Okay, let's start with the basics. How do customers read a menu, from left to right, or does one area catch their eye first? Menu is not read like a book. Some researchers have come back and said people read it like a book, but they don't. If you read the whole menu from start to finish, it would take you about 25 minutes. So what, what uh, our customers do is they pick up a menu and they look for what they're looking for, and then they dial in and, and search from that angle. So the upper right is always the best spot. In a newspaper, if you're going to run newspaper ads or if you're going to run um, magazine ads, you want to place those on the right side, and the upper corner is, is the best. If that wasn't true, Tiffany's wouldn't have been putting their ad on page three of the New York Times every issue since 1959. So, um, so you want to put your best stuff up in that corner, and you have to figure out what that is. In the pizza, in the pizza world, it's a little more um, complex than a typical menu because when someone comes in and they order, let's say, lasagna or pasta, we make so much profit on that one item. But when they come in and order a pizza with four or five other people, now we have to take that pizza and we have to um, divide that by the number of people that are eating the pizza. So in menu engineering lately, we've been looking at how many people are eating that pizza and what's our profitability per person. So we start there and then we figure out how we're going to pull that menu together. Okay, take us through the four steps of engineering a menu. Let's start with costing your menu items. This is an important first step, right? Very, very, very important first step. And most restaurants and pizza restaurants don't have their costing done. And it's such an important step because you can't get do any menu engineering unless you know what the cost of the menu is. And, and to do that, you have to, there's not a program that does it. You have to do it by hand and then load it into a program. Um, I've been helping a restaurant group out doing their costing because when they don't have it, you just have to get in and do it. And uh, you have to know how many pieces of pepperoni there are in a pound. And then you have to know how many go on a pepperoni pizza, a large, medium, small, extra large. You have to know uh, the cost of every pizza that you're, that you're putting together and, and so we can get to the profitability. So the first thing we do is the costing, make sure that's put together. Then we take the menu price, pizza price, subtract the cost to get the profit. Now, your accountant's probably going to call this the margin or the contribution, but I usually call it profit because people respond to that term a little bit better. Then we can figure out the profit per pizza so we know how to lay it out. But before we do that, we look at the sales of those pizzas meaning we put together the um, sales mix so we know their popularity 
compared to the other pizzas on the menu. So we want to look for the high in profit, high in sales pizzas we call stars. Once we find our stars, that's the key to menu engineering is you deal with those and we want to put those in the best spots. We People are coming in for them. Other characteristic of stars is they're not price sensitive. We can take our our the price of our stars up and we'll uh, still have people buy them. It's just those are our best items. So figure out what those are and then then work work from there. How about designing? I highly recommend you 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 team up with an art director that you work well with and have him or her help do the design. Even if you can do it in-house, it's always better. It's, it's your brand. Your menu is your brand, and, and it's so important to have a brand that, that, that reflects your image. And so team up with a designer and let them help you through this process. And the fourth step is testing? Testing the menu. Yeah, many of, of your listeners, watchers today are, are independent, so they don't when they test something, it, 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 it's putting it in. But when I work with the chains, we, we test the menu before we roll it out to the whole program. But see what you want to test and then look for that. Some of the things that I've been testing lately is um, putting drink prices on, on menus. I believe that people don't order things when they don't know what they cost. So in a lot of the chain restaurants that I work on, they don't have drink prices on the menu. Well, I'm testing right now to see if when we put the drink prices on, do we sell more drinks? I'm assuming that we will because people don't order things that they don't know the price of. So as far as your stars and your plow horses, etc., where on the menu should these all be placed? If we have pasta items, I definitely want to sell those over the pizza items. So I'm going to put those in the best spot and build that section first. And then I'm going to take a look at our signature uh, pizzas and put those in a good spot. And the thing that I want to put in a not so prime spot is that build the pizza on your own. Because once you go into that arena, all your customers are, um, they're, they're arm wrestling their family members and friends over what's going to go on that pizza. They're, they put too much energy into that. So that's why I want to build signature pizzas so, so they uh, stand out and people will buy those over going into the build your own pizza. The easier we make the pizza to order, the more things a customer will buy. So we want to make sure that they can navigate with their eyes that menu easily and quickly. We want them to also uh, go to different sections. If you have uh, white pizzas with white sauce, put those in a se separate section. Sometimes I'll, I'll pull out the, uh, pe the pizzas with chicken items and, and I'll build a chicken pizza section. The, the reason for doing this is because I want to make that menu easier to navigate so the customer can find what they want quicker. When a pizzeria re-engineers their menu, what are the benefits? Profitability, of course, is, is one of my main goals when I put it together, but our main goal with our customers is to bring them back. So the more value that we build into the pizzas, the more uh, our customers will, will enjoy those pizzas and they'll come back more often. So. So it's not always just about profitability. It's putting the menu together so, so again, it's easy to order. They don't get confused. They know what they're getting, and uh, they'll come back. Well, thank you, Greg. That's about all the time we have for this week. You can learn more at www.menutechnologies.net. You can also read a detailed story on the subject in the March 2014 back issue of PMQ Magazine, available online at pmq.com. Please remember to follow us on social media, download our free app, visit us online. For This Week in Pizza, I'm Daniel Lee Perea.